All right, I'm probably gonna be fishing this place more often, even though I haven't caught anything out here lately. But it's just so close to where I live. And uh, I keep getting a lot of comments asking me where certain locations are. And the description in every video at the bottom says I don't I don't answer those comments. I don't I can't answer those comments asking where locations are. And I want to help people out, but I've I've had too many people ruin it for me. Like I I've told a handful of people about different spots and only to have them show up out there and just completely trash the place. Or they'll start keeping all the fish out of there so there's nothing left to catch and just it's it's gotten to be way too much of a hassle so I do not answer those comments and it, the, it's in the description in every video but I'm still getting just tons of people asking me where these places are and it's a really hot day today really sunny so I'm casting into all the shady spots even though I'm not sure there's too many fish left out here because since I started fishing here, it's blown up again. And there's dirt, the soil from night crawler containers all over the place. And yeah, once people start using night crawlers somewhere, it's like, you might as well not even fish there anymore. Like this here, this soil. This is all from night crawlers. And it's everywhere out here. I just found this buried halfway in the dirt there. It's got a note inside of it. Well, not a note, it says the same thing over and over. But it's honey, it's a jar of honey with the comb still in it, honeycomb in it. And it looks like it's still, it, eh, well, it's not sealed, it's still got the seal on it. That's really weird. It's got a piece of paper in it with handwritten scribbles over and over. I can't even read what it says, but it's the same thing over and over. Okay, there's something. Got it. Might have waited too long to set the hook, but I got him. Yeah. yeah, I think I waited too long to set the hook. Swallowed it. Yep. It's not too bad. I think I can get this out. Whoa, that came flying out. Almost got me in the face. But it did come out pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and get him back in the water. Off he goes. I'm just going to stand here on this little bank. It's a little bit muddy, but it's all right. <laughs> I didn't even know I had a fish there. Thought I felt something pulling, but I wasn't sure. A little bitty one. There we go. All right, I just found an old torn up swim dinger that it's been trimmed down but I think it'll work pretty well right here should have good colors
little bit of this. Another nice little one. <laughs> These little tiny ones are a little tricky to tell. Or so far everything I've caught today has been hard to tell if I was getting a bite or not. Even the first one, I, the biggest one, I couldn't tell if I was getting a bite or not. That's why it took me so long to set the hook. That's a good fish. Whoa. Really close to the eye, but I take the barb off just for that specific reason. Oh. It's a nice, solid, fat fish, heavy fish. It's kind of short, but... <laughs> Oh, that is almost three pounds. Well, maybe not. It went up to 280 there for a second, but now it's back down to 240. 220. Every time it moves, it gets lighter. I'm going to say 2.4 just because that's where it seems to be hovering. All right, well, my battery died while I was trying to get the measurements on that fish for the tournament. And it ended up being about 16 inches, 2.4 pounds, just under two and a half. And, uh, well, he wouldn't sit still for the picture, so the picture might not be accepted or approved because he's flopping around and it's the best I could do. But, yeah. It's two and a half, 16 inches. My phone just went off again for notifications. It's another YouTube notification. Dude, are you kidding me? Look, if I haven't answered you yet, I'm not going to. Making it all capitalized is not going to help. It's like, I don't mean to be an asshole or anything, but I've already had too many people screw me over after promising they wouldn't. Like, I had one guy promise me for, uh, to, that he would only do catch and release at a certain location if I told him about it, and he wouldn't tell anybody else about it. And the next time I went out there, that same guy, I guess he didn't recognize me because he came up and asked if he could have my fish for dinner. Not to mention he had an ice chest and a bucket full of fish already. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not telling people my locations through the comments. I'm not answering those comments. I also had another guy asking me for a location where I was, and he swore that if I told him, he would give me a location I've never been to, and uh, he would, we would share spots and we'd trade, basically. So after I told him the spot I knew about, he's like, okay, I know a spot. Have you ever heard of Garner State Park? It's like, yeah, so you're telling me about a, a state park that everybody in the state knows about. Get out of here, dude.
okay, come on. Got one that time. I wouldn't. I didn't even set the hook on him. I was just kind of wiggling it around. It's just a little one. Ah, uh, I lost the bait again. It's another little fat one. I mean, they're small here, but they're all pretty fat. So. All right, and with that last fish, it shook loose my skinny Sanko, and I've probably used 15 of them today, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits here. I don't wanna burn through any more of them, so I'm gonna have to restock. Anyway, I'll see you next time.